about handoff. The blow handoff, more specifically, the blow handoff is used for the 4x1, 4x2, which is an indoor event, um, and sometimes can be used for the 4x4. The whole purpose of it is to make your handoff quicker and more speedy so that you don't lose time doing the open handoff in the relays that you're using it. Um, you obviously need a baton, and with blow handoff, it's essential that you have your athletes practice it, especially, more specifically, in their order because they're definitely a little tricky to get down and get the hang of, and you don't want it to come to the, to the meet, and all of a sudden they're in a new order with new people that they've never done this before, and they have to just do it for the first time. Uh, a few things that are very important to note are that for the handoff, um, the, the hand that's held in is every other. So if the first person starts with it in their right hand, the second person will get it in their left hand, the third person will get it in their right, and the fourth person will get it in the left. And back and if they start in the left, it's just the opposite. Um, something you really need to stress to your athletes is that when they're running, when they're doing the handoff, it's a fluid motion. So the person handing off, it's almost a continuance of their arm going straight out. The person getting it, very similarly, when instead of having their arm go back like normal, they stick it out a little bit further, making sure that their palm is nice and flat. Because that will provide a good surface for the handoff or for the baton to wear. A good activity for your students to practice this is you can have them stand about two to three feet, depending on how long their arms are, apart, and you can have them first just practice their arms so that they can feel the bouncing and then add in a baton. So have them Go like this, so everyone's doing this, and then they say hit or whatever word you describe, you say is the, the trigger word. And you say hit, and you have them practice that natural extension. So, I hope this has helped.